How's it going, everyone? My name is Michael S.K., and welcome back to Wonderful Every Day. In the last episode, we finished up It's My Own Invention, or at least the main route of It's My Own Invention. I'm actually surprised I was able to get the main route. There is a second route that takes place that apparently focuses more on Kimika. There was a lot of things that happened in this route that raised more questions, and I don't think that those questions will be answered by going through this route, but I feel like some confusion will be cleared up, which is why I want to do this. Plus, it was originally recommended that I go through this route before I even went through the one I just finished. So, I don't really know if that impacted my enjoyment of all of this or anybody else's who is watching my playthrough as a substitute to playing the game. I don't know. I really don't know. So, what I'm going to do for this episode and how many others will follow is I'm going to go back into this story. We're going to start Kimika's route by choosing to avoid all the delusions. And I don't really know where that all occurred. I also got to be careful with what I hover over here. Uh, maybe something down here. Uh, we're approaching something. Okay, this is down the rabbit hole too. So it's got to be this. Maybe. Maybe. I think it's got to be something around here. Actually, you know what? I feel like we should just go back and we should just completely start. It's my own invention over again, just to be on the safe side. But after we do this, and I am going to skip through text that we've already seen. After all of that, we are going to go into looking glass insects. I guess that's what it says. And I have no idea what that entails. But we'll go through this again, and we'll actually uh, focus on the Kimika route. Or we'll go down that route. And any text that we have not seen, that's... Oh, excuse me. That's what we'll, we'll focus on. I guess we got to get through this little intro here. It's my own invention. Oh, yee-haw, brother. Yee-goddamn-ha. This was a wild-ass story, in all honesty. And and really, a lot of it is, is pretty fucking wild. But anyways, I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to shut up. I'm going to let this all skip forward until we get to the first choice. All right, that actually didn't take long. Maybe I'm just a slow reader. That was going to take me a lot more time because of the amount of episodes that we had to go through. So I feel like, and this is my prediction. I, I, I stated all of this at the end of the last episode. My prediction for this route is that it will clear up a lot of the things that happened uh, during the times when Takuji was having his delusions. There were a lot of times where his memory wasn't there, and events took place. So, maybe it's because of the delusions. I don't know. But, regardless, we're going to go with the it's one of my delusions. We are going to avoid this smut. And we can't skip this because this is new dialogue. This is the exact same thing that always happens. Before I knew it, I'd lost track of what was real and what was just my delusion. This always... Uh, we broke free. Uh, oh, oh god damn, dude, that fucking... What the hell was that? Jesus Christ, that shook me. What the fuck was that? I didn't like that at all. Jesus. Was that supposed to have happened? Okay, apparently we can now skip again. I have it set to where it will only... Okay, yeah, yeah, so so his delusion came up, and now he's saying, no way. I have everything set so that uh, text that we've already seen, it's going to skip through it. Text that we haven't seen, it's going to stop. Um, and again, I actually for I already forgot if I didn't say this or, or not. Um, if you guys have not seen this entire story, by all means... Uh, or, or I, I'm going to recommend to you all that you should not watch these few episodes because I am just going to be skipping around 
This is how it's going to go for the next few episodes. So if you have not seen this past story, don't watch this. This is just the order I've done things. I'm not going to read everything all over again. <clears throat> Crap. I got caught up in my delusions again. Don't be stupid. There's no reality... Or there's no way reality could be that kind. Didn't you learn that lesson last time? Even in an Edoge, you'd need a better reason than that. Think he was imagining what she would come back with for a secret? I don't remember. And there is another delusion that does come up. It's the, uh... Shoot, I forget what it is. Or maybe it won't come up this time, I don't know. There are like three different delusions. Well, we're still skipping forward. Nothing new has come up. Uh, Takashima-san's death occurred. Nothing out of the ordinary. He still saw what he... Or what we saw. Everything that has happened in the past route has happened so far. In terms of major events. I think I'm going to have to... Yeah, I'm going to have to block out everything that's coming up here. Because I decided to talk during this. Yay for me! So it looks like he still fucked her desk. That is also an event that occurred. Good to know. Alright, so he does meet Dita Duchan in all of this. I guess my prediction is falling very short. It seems like everything that occurred that seemed very delusional is still occurring here. I'm also noticing how uh, less transparent Ayana-san looks in that transition from day to day. That is a neat touch, I did not notice that before. Okay, this is the part where we meet Kimika. The very strange part, at that. And Takuji is already a uh, insane man who is trying to... Uh, oh god. Trying to come in with that cult following deal. Okay, so we're, we're meeting the followers. Nothing, nothing different, nothing new has come up yet. Oh god. That is disturbing. But yeah, nothing, nothing crazy or anything has come up. Not yet. Not yet. Oh yeah, this is the part where I have to <laughs> decide what the fuck we're supposed to do, you know? The infinite sea of choices. <laughs> Truly a difficult thing to do. Okay, so this seems to be something different. So we, we, we had just gotten done with the, uh, with the whole... Very disturbing story that the teacher, Sena oh, it's not Senegawa, it's, it's the other one. Uh, shoot, I've, I've, forgotten, I've forgotten her name. She really is not an important character. Uh, all the terrible things that she did, starting with her father. We got that story, and I guess uh, we gave her her role as a human toilet, and now we're at this. I think that's what I saw. I'm still skipping through. I, I was just letting it skip through by itself. Who knows what I saw? I returned to my place alone, to my room. I thought that at this point, I am going to keep on checking if we can skip or not. Because if this highlights while I have my mouse pointer down here, you guys can't see my mouse pointer. But if that highlights, that means that we've seen this already. It's not new content. Um, but this is something new. Because I do remember that after that incident, that's when Takuji went up to the roof and went to go meet with God. I think that's when this has happened. So we were, we were already really late into the story. Nothing was really different in the beginning at all. I stuck out the poster Tachibana bought, the icon of the Maho Shoujo Didudu. It was a proper icon drawn by the right illustrator.私が選んだイコンを確認するためですよ。いいですね。張り口先生は。お前、そういうのわかるのか。はい、わかりますよ。私は基本肝音ですから。肝音ってお前みたいな女には言わないだろう。いいえ、存在言われてましたよ。ブ
Rather, the cuter girls are insulted about their looks more often than the ugly ones. Well, that's probably just jealousy. あ、そうそう。乱行始めさせていいんですかああ。ああ。西村の子。はい。赤坂めぐと北見里子です。ああ。約束だからな。存分にやらせておけ。じゃあ、バンバン参拝させます。というか、他の乱入者ありですか? なんだ。お前参加したいのか。冗談でも殴るぞ、救世主様。お前な。さま付けてるだけで大層のいい方だな。いや、I ほう。なら命令で。お前も参加しろと言われたら全力でお断りします。救世主の命令だぞ。そういうお戯れの命令を下すときは私は決して従いませんので。その時は一層私を殺してください。Interesting. You know, near the end of the route, it really de it really seemed like that she had a a hidden agenda. She had a different objective that she was trying to accomplish. And it seemed like she accomplished it. So I don't know what she has in mind. Maybe we'll be able to find that out. What's up with her? I thought I had completely broken her will and turned her into a believer. But what's this she's saying? なるほど。救世主としての仕事の手伝いはするが、戯れには付き合わないと。はい。戯れでしたら、殺してくださいませ。at first, I thought she was just a peasant who ran to me out of fear. That's what her reaction or her actions made me believe. But she also did a lot of things that made me feel uneasy. Her eyes when we first met. Was that really the intent to kill someone that I saw in her eyes? Why would she try to kill me? <coughs> Tachibana pulled a knife out of her pocket. It was pretty big. It could easily kill someone. Yeah, sure.思いっきり警察に捕まるレベルの幅たりだろう。あ、それ結構大丈夫です。私みたいな女の子が持ってるとか思わないから。それは大丈夫とは言わない。それで、なんでそんなものを持ち歩いているんだ。お前。乙女の
。なんか私、信用されてませんか ?No! いや、別に。好きにすればいいさ。僕は救世主だ。お前がどうこうできるようなものではない。ナイフ没収も強要はしない<笑>信用はしてないんですね信用以外の問題もあるだろうこんなごっついナイフもしお前が西村たちと一緒に行ってたらはい普通にヤーコを刺し殺すつもりですあのなだって救世主様の計画の障害はこれはどんな方法を持っても排除するそれがしもべどというものなんですそんな道ないだろう、yeah, there, you know. まあいい好きにしろそれよりとりあえず箱舟の連中の様子頼むぞはい任せてくださいあとなんかガンガン乱行させていいですか Man, I thought we covered that already. まあいいけどなんで信者の心をコントロールさせるのなら異常空間の維持って大切だと思いませんかそれと絶対的な睡眠不足これも大事だと思いますなるほど一理あるな延々と続く乱行は考える隙を与えません寝る暇も与えません救世主様のお薬もありますしそういった状況は可能だと思いますもうそうだろうなある程度任せていただけませんか信者の管理かはい不安なことがあったり私を信用できないようでしたら即刻殺してくださって結構ですから呪いでも物理的攻撃でもそうだそういう意味でしたらタチバナ held the handle of the knife out to me even though she had so adamantly refused to hand it over before <笑>これ使ってください切れ味抜群ですから Well it's a knife I would expect them to be very sharp <笑>僕は救世主だこんなもの使わなくてもお前ぐらい瞬時に殺せるはいはいそれはよくわかってますでも何があるかわかりませんから持っていてください。That's actually, that's like foreshadowing, bro. うん。まあわかった。じゃあ私はこれで失礼します。あ。うん。タチバナキミカ。Honestly, I don't understand her. I can't completely trust her, but she could still prove to be useful. There shouldn't be any problems if I leave it to her. <sighs> I looked at the poster Tachimana picked out. Oops, still can't skip. The icon of the Maho Shoujo Ridudu. It really is a nice picture. With this, she'll have her normal form the next time we meet. Now that I think of it, Didudu chan said her father would descend upon the earth tonight. Didudu chan's father. The existence called God. An existence far beyond human recognition. Tonight, I will meet with God. I wonder what God looks like. <laughs> Nothing great. They say God made humans in his image, so maybe he looks like a、uh, human? Last night I met another metaphysical existence on the roof. There might be something here today, or there today, too. In the closest place to the sky, the father himself that Ididu chan spoke of. Will I be able to meet with that existence? <laughs> <coughs> <laughs> Off we go! Okay, we can't skip this. That's very interesting. A ladder that runs all the way down into the foundation. For some reason, this is connected to a ventilation duct on the building C rooftop. I climb the ladder directly to the sky. What waits for me in today's sky? Hopefully, nothing. Hopefully, we're done with these delusions. <laughs> When I came out onto the rooftop, it felt perfectly normal. Kone? Eh? Kone? 
I was dumbfounded at the sight of the clock. The time was 11.38. Why would the bell ring at this time? Why? なんだこれ。頭が頭が割れそうだ。なんだこれ。なんだ。目の前か。目の前で。なんだこれ。扉が扉の向こうは何あれは電線送電線海の向こうに送電線が続く何を届けるための送電線なんだメイビーパワーなんでここからの風景はまだなんだまだの向こうは やたら明るくて青くて青くてどこまでも青くて壁は白くて全く白くてとても白くて不安しか不安しか不安しかしかなくて白い部屋が怖い青い海が怖いここには安心できる恐怖しかない安心して心が壊れていく綺麗な青綺麗な白安心して受け入れられる恐怖はとても綺麗な香りをさせているここは境界線境界線の波間からすごく脳に響きするけど安心だ恐怖は安全なものだと純白だ安全なものほど美しい青い壁の空をしている密閉された空は安心して僕ら覆い隠す覆い隠された青は白い窓から綺麗な風景を覗かせる神々がいるとしたらこんな綺麗な白い壁と青い光に満ち溢れているのだろう白い壁は光
We still can't skip anything, huh? Hello. Okay. That's where we're going to stop this one because I actually have zero idea of how much we've actually recorded. Because of all the skipping that we had to do, and I went to go eat, so there's like a big 20 minute gap in my recording. I'd have no idea how much I've recorded, so this may be a short episode, probably not a long one. Who knows? But we'll end it there, and next time we'll just continue along. However, it is not allowing me to skip anymore, so maybe the story is completely changed moving forward. I have no idea. Doesn't seem like anything significant has happened. We're, we're still delusional. It's just that a, a very big delusional event did not occur, but we did apparently meet with God himself. That did happen, I guess. I don't know, but whatever. Thank you for watching. Oh, excuse me. And uh, if you enjoyed this episode, make sure you leave a like, subscribe, all that fancy jazz. And uh, a one-hour recording session will now be reduced into 30 minutes. And I will see you all in the next one. Take it easy.